Well, pharmacists across the country demanding better working conditions. They've been walking off the job for the past two days, demanding better staffing and training. WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn spoke with the American Pharmacists Association about the impact of these walkouts could have. Yeah, we're not sure if CVS and Walgreens locations here in Birmingham participated in the walkout. But what we do know is that the Alabama Pharmacy Association says that a lot of pharmacists chose not to participate in the walkout out of fear of retaliation for their jobs. Sanford University professor and American Pharmacists Association president Dr. Valerie Prince says these walkouts are simply about providing the best care to patients. Prince says pharmacy employees are spread thin with having to take insurance and work the cash registers while giving vaccines. Some pharmacists claim they even work 14 hour shifts by themselves, filling prescriptions and running the drive through. They believe better staffing and training for technicians who could help with those responsibilities will take care of the problem. Pharmacists can do so much more than just get the product out to the patient. There are pharmacists go to school for eight or nine years to learn to screen for drug interactions and look for adverse effects uh, and make sure that they and talk to the patients. Uh, you want your patient to be able to come in and ask a question if they want to. Organizers say they chose to walk out of their jobs the past two days because of cold temperatures and Halloween. They say that this is a time where they see more people coming into pharmacies for vaccines. In Birmingham, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.